In this video we're going to change a head gasket on this Briggs & Stratton uh, Intec Plus 20 horsepower. This is the same for all Briggs & Stratton uh, overhead valve single cylinder engines. Um, it's common that they blow the head gasket if a lot of debris gets underneath this plastic cover. Um, this one smokes. Um, it uses oil. There's no leaks of oil but the oil goes somewhere. And then if you pull the dipstick tube off while it's running, oil blows everywhere. So we're going to change the head gasket on this one and I'll walk you through the steps. The first thing you got to do is take this plastic cover off. So we're going to do that and then I'll bring you back in. Okay, we got the cover off. Um, there's two bolts that go here and two in the back. And then you have to take the air filter out. Well, you probably don't even really need to take the air filter out. But take them off and it slides right up. You kind of got to watch the dipstick when you pull it up. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the spark plug and we're going to take the exhaust off and the intake off and the valve cover off. Okay, we got the exhaust off, which is just two bolts here and one bolt here and the exhaust kind of moves out of the way. We got the spark plug out and we got the two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the intake off. Now we're going to loosen the rocker arm studs or the nuts that are on them take the push rods out. We're going to make sure we know which one's the intake, which one's the exhaust. Keep them separated and then we're going to loosen all the head bolts and pull the head off. So I'll get the rocker arms off, set the rocker arms aside and then I'll take all the head bolts off. Okay, I got the rockers loose which I just loosened these, pulled both push rods out uh, the exhaust push rod I have over here, the intake push rod I have over there. I took the eight, I believe there's eight, cylinder head bolts out. Now the cylinder head will come off. Um, it's probably stuck to the rest of the block. But it should come off. It'll probably leak some oil too. And there the head's off. All right, now you can see right here where the head gasket's blown out. You can see right here. This is always where they always blow out, right here. The gasket's very thin right here, and oil from this side pushes through and gets in the combustion chamber, and you have smoke, you burn oil, uh, excess crankcase pressure. So we'll get this all cleaned up, and we'll put a new head gasket on it, and we'll put it all back together. Okay, I got both surfaces cleaned up. I got the block cleaned up, um, and I got the head cleaned up. I'm going to set the new gaskets on on here. There's a dowel pin that lines it up. You can spray it with the copper gasket stuff, which I recommend doing. I don't have any right now, so I'm not going to do that. Um, this was a cheap mower that years ago I actually changed the head gasket on it before, um, but the guy that had this really abused it, and... I bought it off of them for 50 bucks. I'm going to use it at camp, so hopefully I can get a few years out of it. But anyways, um, I'm going to start putting the head back on. The head's cleaned up, like I said. I'll put it on. i got to figure out what the torque spec is for the head bolts. I'll torque them all down, and then I'll put the rocker arms on, and I'll adjust the valves. But i got to figure out that spec, too. So let me get the head on, figure out the torque spec of the bolts, and then I'll bring you back in. Okay, the head's back on. Um, from what I read, 18 foot-pounds is what you should torque them to. I torqued them to 21. I'm not sure if that's going to make a difference. I thought a little more might be better. That head gasket might last a little longer, but use your own discretion. I just did a quick Google search and found 18 foot-pounds, so I'm not even 100% sure that that's accurate, but that's what I went with. Um, going by feel, it felt like it was about the right torque for them bolts in this application, so... Do your homework on that. Um, next, we're going to put the rocker arms in, and we'll adjust the valves. Uh, we can put the exhaust back on. We can put the intake back on. Um, I do have to look up the valve specs still. I do not have it, and this spark plug is in terrible shape. Look at all that carbon buildup on there. So I definitely got to get a new one of them, although I might just clean this one up for now if I don't have one and use it. But... Um, Again, look up your own torques and valve specs, but I'll give you what I'm using, but uh, it might not be right for your application. 
Okay, I got it all back together. I got the valve cover on. Uh, I torqued the valves, or I put the valve clearance to 6 thousandths, intake and exhaust. I'm not sure if that's right. That was the first thing I read. Uh, this is my own personal mower, so I'm not too concerned about it. If they start to get noisy or whatnot, I'll adjust them. Uh, but anyways, that pretty much walks you through what to do to change a head gasket. Um, I do have to put the cover and the air filter back on, which I'm not going to show you that because that's pretty simple. But anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment down below if I did something wrong. Um, subscribing really helps my channel. Comments helps. help. Likes help. Um, but again, thanks for watching. If you want to see more content like this too, if you have a suggestion for something you want me to go over, uh, put it in the comments. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.